You may have seen our general drop zone tutorial under the Fundy Designer tutorials. This drop zone tutorial is just strictly on Album Builder. This orange box is our drop zone, and this is our patented design technology. As you resize the drop zone, the photos will react to it. You can have as many drop zones on a page as you would like. You can also layer drop zones so that photos are on top of each other. With drop zones, you have ultimate control on what to do with your photos. You can move photos in between other photos. You can even move photos to the other side of photos. When you remove an image, the drop zones automatically reconfigure to auto layout that design. Anytime you drag a photo onto a page or a photo to a different part of the page, you create a drop zone. You can resize drop zones by grabbing the corner and resizing them up and down. Additionally, if you hold the shift key, it will retain the aspect ratio. Or if you hold the option key, it will retain the center of that drop zone as you move it. Additionally, the shift and option key will retain the center and then also resize that photo without losing its aspect ratio. When you drag a photo, it will often have a bunch of extra space around it with the drop zone. To collapse a drop zone, double click on the edge of that drop zone and it will collapse to the edge of that photo. To move a drop zone, grab one of the edges that is not one of the orange squares. When resizing a drop zone, it will snap to any guides or other photos around it automatically. This icon will align a drop zone. I'll choose the center alignment. It will automatically try to find the center between whatever is available. So this photo is automatically centered between the edge of this drop zone and the edge of this drop zone. If I remove these photos and I apply the same settings to this photo or group of photos, it will center this drop zone based on the center blue line and the center blue line here. The distance between the center does not take into account the red cut zone because we want the photos to be centered between the center of the page and the edge of the page after the book block is cut by the album company. When clicking on a drop zone, all of your drop zone controls are to the right. To delete a drop zone, click on the black X. At the top of the drop zone, you'll find your image ratio options. Square photos, original cropping. This is useful if you've cropped a photo as a panorama. Or you can override photos to be horizontals when they're actually verticals or verticals when they're horizontals. The fit and fill icon will fill the drop zone or fit the photos to their aspect ratios. This icon will open all of the photos in a drop zone in the external editor set up with Fundy Designer. For example, I've set up Photoshop, so when I click this icon, it will automatically launch Photoshop as well as find the original photos and launch them in Photoshop for me. This icon allows us to layer drop zones, choosing which drop zone will be on the front or the back. This icon will shuffle photos within the drop zone. This icon will allow us not only to center or align the drop zone, but center or align photos within the drop zone. The icon with the small man in the box allows us to align the photos within the drop zone. For example, this icon will move all of the photos to the bottom of the drop zone. Whereas this icon will center all of the photos within the drop zone. This icon, we can play around with the drop zone background. If we would like to make this background gray, we can choose gray as the color of the background, change the opacity of that gray, add a side buffer, and play with the top and bottom buffer and how it affects the images around those photos. We can change all of the photos in the drop zone to black and white with contrast settings or sepia with contrast settings. 
at any time you can go back to the original color. This icon allows you to adjust the spacing as well as add a stroke and or a drop shadow to your photos. This icon toggles between rows and columns and this icon resets your drop zone if you've made a complex design and want to go back to the auto design algorithm. So all drop zone controls are on the side of the drop zone. The controls underneath a photo control only that photo. While you don't have all of the same controls, you do have a lot of drop zone control in Planner View. For example, we can move photos in between other photos, we can remove photos, or we can move photos between spreads. As you become used to drop zones, you'll see them as invaluable for having professional control over your album design.